what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is adoma and i love creating and teaching you guys how to make cute crochet outfits every single week if you are already subscribed thank you so much for joining my family and being with me through this youtube journey please subscribe and turn on your post notification if you are not yet subscribed so that you do not miss out on any of my detailed and exclusive crochet tutorials a few days ago i posted on my community tab asking you guys what you would love to see in my next tutorial and majority of you guys chose a crochet dress pattern tutorial so i picked up my hook and made this special dress tutorial which contains mainly of double crochet stitches this dress pattern consists of a leafy detail which makes it very unique and also a ruffle detail at the edges it is easy to make and very trendy as well please smash that like button it helps this video grow in so many ways please comment down below what you would love to see in my next tutorial and if you have any suggestions please send me a dm on instagram all links will be in my description so guys for this project our uh, dress pattern you are going to need an acrylic yarn i'm using the lightweight acrylic yarn but if you want it more thicker you can use two strands at the same time I prefer using the lightweight and a smaller hook so that i get the effect i want and for the hook size, I'm using something close to 2.0 millimeter. It's um, in between 2.5 and 2.0. So 2 and 1 over 4 millimeter hook. Needing some stitch markers for this project. A measuring tape and a pair of scissors. I already made my chain of 70 for my waist. And the chain would determine the amount or the amount of inch you measured for your waist area i measured 28 inch for my whole waist i divided by two because i'm going to work this particular dress in front and then back panel and then we start from the upper aspect so that it becomes more easier for you guys especially those who are new to this pattern and get a little confused so after chaining up 70 you are going to chain up an additional three and you are going to target your very your fourth space from the hook so one two three four so there's a fourth space from the hook you yarn over and insert into the fourth space you pull through when you have three on the hook you pull through two when you have two on the hook you pull through two that's just a double crochet and i'll be having videos of um stitches which are for absolute beginners so i'll be running kind of fast i will not be explaining everything into detail so if you want to see, if you're an absolute beginner you can just go to the description and check out some links that can help you to do um, very common stitches in the field of crocheting so i just placed a double crochet there and i'm going to add another double crochet inside the same exact space so i have two double crochets in the same exact space what i'm going to do is to chain up two and put a total of two double crochets in the same exact space so like i call it this the shell design and it's very common if you are at intermediate level so the next thing i'm going to do is to chain up three one two three and skip the next three three stitches and double crochet into the fourth space so one two three and four so i'm going to put a total of three double crochets in the same exact space which serves as the base for the leafy detail in the dress so that is what I have so far and I'm going to chain up three once again and skip the next three stitches and put a total of three double crochets into the fourth space as you can see. So that is what is, this is how it's supposed to look. You chain up three once again, skip the next three stitches and put a total of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same exact space, which I call the shell design. So you just did the same exact thing here. So the next is going to be um, a total of 10 double crochets following each other. So this time you are going to chain two instead of three, skip the next two stitches, so one and two, and put a double crochet in the third. 
so we are going to put a total of 10 double crochet this is it we have already made one double crochet so then the rest will be following each other so this is the second one there's a third the fourth the fifth the sixth the seventh eighth ninth and then tenth so you have a total of 10 double crochets in between the design so this will serve as a side design we are moving to the middle design we are going to repeat the same thing you did here and to do that you are going to chain two skip the next two space and put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space so you have your shell design here and after that you chain up three skip the next three stitches and double crochet three times into the third space chain up three once again skip the next three stitches and put a total of three double crochets in the fourth space and now chain up three once again skip the next three stitches and put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space so this is what you're having this will serve as the middle design or the middle detail so next what you're going to do is to chain up two and it's time for you to do your 10 double crochets so you skip the next two stitches and double crochet into the following which is the third space and then put your double crochet to get to the third space so one double crochet in each space to get to the third space so there's a fourth one there's a fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and then your final one ten so it's now time for you to do your very final design for the detail so to do that you chain up two once again you skip the next two stitches and put a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the following now you chain up three skip one two three four skip the th three spaces and put a total of three double crochets in the fourth space one and two chain up three once again put a total of three double crochets in the fourth space so this is the final step you chain up three skip the next three spaces and put a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets so two double crochets chain two and then in the same exact space two double crochets and now you are going to put your final double crochet in that double crochet so just skip the next double crochet and put your final double crochet over there and that's how this design basically is going to work with the next row which is row two you are going to incorporate a new design which will sprung up later and then you are going to also build up the leaf detail and just continue with your regular shell design and then the 10 double crochets so for row two you chain up three as usual you turn over your work and you put a total of two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets in the same exact space just like this so now after doing the short design you are going to move to increasing this detail leafy pattern which we have already begun so to do that chain up three and put a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet so one and two and then put a regular double crochet in the middle 
and after that put a total of two double crochets in the last so that's basically how you increase for the leafy detail and that's what i was talking about from the beginning of the video we are going to increase this, this leaf design and this is one of the most simplest leaf design you can come across because there are several types and this is because this is the highest point of increase for this design so we have increased to five the beginning is three so this we have increased to five so now we are going to do a detail which will serve as something that will sprung up um, for the next row so instead of chaining three and just doing your design you chain up one and then locate the middle of the three chains you made from the previous row and put a double crochet there after that you chain up one and now you can increase skip the next space and increase the next leaf design like how we just did so you just put a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet for the three double crochet in the same space from the previous row so after that you put your double crochet in the following just one in the middle and then for the final one you put a total of two double crochets in the same exact space isn't it beautiful and easy so that's how it works and what is amazing is that the shell design continues to remain the same and then the 10 double crochets also continues to remain the same the only difference is the addition of the double crochet in between the two leaf design which we are increasing so i'll do a couple of demonstration for row two and then we'll begin row three so chain up three always and put a total of two double crochets chain two and then two double crochets in the same exact space so next you chain up two the only instance where you chain up two is when you are meeting this ten double crochets or you are moving to the next um, shell design the next shell design from the ten double crochets so here is a chain two and here is a chain two so after chaining two you put your double crochet here and then you all know it's a total of ten always So you have a total of 10 double crochets now you're moving to the shell design and to do that you chain up two and you put your total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space so now you are meeting the um, leaf design so you chain up three increase as usual by putting a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet put one double crochet in the middle and put a total of two double crochets in the last for the three consecutive double crochet this is where you add an extra detail into that you chain one put a double crochet in the middle of the chain three from the previous row it is kind of difficult but just find the space and put a double crochet there chain one and then put a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet for the next leaf put a double crochet in the middle and then put a total of two in the last chain up three and put a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space and continue with your total of 10 double crochets So this is what you have so far. So the next is the shell design. You chain up two and put a total of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the same exact space. And now you are meeting your very last two leaf designs. To do that, you chain up three, increase the leaf design by putting two double crochets and a double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets in the last instead of chaining up three you chain up one put your double crochet in the middle chain up one once again and put your total of two double crochets in the very first and then a double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets in the very last after that you chain up three and do your shell design by putting two double crochets chain to two double crochets 
in the same exact space guys <laughs> and then you end with a double crochet in the very last chain three we made or in the very last double crochet so this is what you're supposed to have so for the next row you chain up three so one two three you turn over your work and do your shell design as usual so two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space now you are meeting your leave and as i told you this is the highest increase for the leave so it's time for you to decrease and then it's time for you to increase the one double crochet line in the middle so i won't confuse you i'll just demonstrate to you one two three just chain up three and then we are going to increase and please watch carefully you are going to increase the next two stitches for it to be one stitch so to do that you wrap the yarn around your hook you insert into the very first double crochet you pull the loop you have three on the hook you pull through only two and then after that you yarn over you insert your hook into the next space you pull through you have four on the hook now you pull through only two loops you have three on the hook now and you pull through all three loops that's how i basically decrease so you realize that the next two stitches have automatically turned into one stitch and that's basically the effect we need so the next stitch is going to be a regular double crochet on this one so just put a double crochet there and you have your final two stitches where you are going to decrease like just we did so to sorry decrease like what's with this so to decrease you yarn over insert your hook into the next space you pull through you have three on the hook you pull through only two loops you yarn over insert your hook into the space you pull through you have four on the hook you pull through only two loops you have three on the hook and you pull through final three loops and that's how to decrease to get three stitches so this was five and now we have three and now we are going to basically move to the section where we have the double crochet line on its own so you just chain up one and now we are going to put a total of three double crochets on top of the double crochet line on its own. So you just yarn over and put your total of three double crochets. So this is how it's going to look like. And now you are going to chain up one and you are going to do the same decrease you did just for this leaf. So to do the decrease, as usual, yarn over, insert your hook into the next space, pull through. When you have three on the hook, pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the space, pull through. When you have four on the hook, pull through two. And when you have three on the hook, pull through all three loops. Remember to put your double crochet in the middle. And now with the next two stitches, you do your double crochet decrease, as you can see. And then you have finally decreased your leafy detail. And that's the design we need for this dress pattern so next you are going to chain up three and then do your shell design as usual just like that and now you are going to chain up two and do your total of 10 double crochets as usual always nothing changes So you are finally done with your total of 10 double crochets and you are moving to the next section chain up two as usual you put your total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space nothing else changes in this section and now you are moving to your leaf which you are going to decrease and the one in the middle which you are going to increase so you chain up three and do your double crochet decrease just like this as i demonstrated for you you put your double crochet here and then you do your double crochet decrease here too in the last two stitches and you have this design so now you chain up one and do your three double crochets in the same exact space for the one double crochet line on its own you chain up one and do your double crochet decrease And now you chain up three and do your regular shell design nothing else changes so now you are moving ahead by chaining up two and doing your total of ten double crochets so this is how it's going to look and then you chain up two 
and put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets chain up three here and then you do your decrease your double crochet decrease like how i demonstrated for all the leaves and then you chain up one and put your three double crochets here chain up one once again and do your decrease here too We are finally approaching the end, the very last shell. Chain up three and put a total of two double crochets. Chain two and then two double crochets in the same exact space. And always end with your final double crochet. So guys, for row four, what you are going to do is to chain up one, two, three as usual to begin the row. And you are going to do your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in the very first shell for the row. So now what you are going to do for this row four is to decrease this leaf. That's why I told you this is like the most coolest and um, easiest leaf design you can incorporate in all your works. So what you are going to do is to decrease. So the next, this row is going to be the last section for this leaves which are you are you already decreased um from row three so now the three will turn into one so you are going to decrease the three into one and then you are going to sprung out a new leaf which will branch and spread out to become new leaves in the next sections of the design so to do that chain up three one two three and then you are going to decrease three into one so to do that you yarn over you insert your hook into the first space you pull through you have three on your hook you yarn over and pull through only two loops now you yarn over again you insert into the next space you pull through you have four on the hook you yarn over pull through only two loops you yarn over again you insert into the final space you pull through you have five on your hook you yarn over and put you only two you now have four on your hook you yarn over and put you all four loops that's how to decrease three into one and you basically see how the design is already looking this is the effect you need for all the leaves that are beginning to close up so now what you're going to do next is to do um continue this design in order to get two leaves coming out from this so to do that you chain up to and then you just place a double crochet on top of the very first double crochet so now you chain up a total of two skip the double crochet in the middle and put a double crochet in the last double crochet so that's what you are supposed to have so far so next you are going to chain up two and then you are going to decrease like how we did And that's basically how the pattern is going to look isn't it so beautiful so next you're going to chain up your three as usual one two three and then you're going to do your shell design and now you are going to chain up two and do your total of ten double crochets and this shell design and ten double crochets remains the same for some time done with our total of 10 double crochets running on each other and now you are going to continue your shell design so to do that you chain up to and do your shell design in the space you are now meeting your leaf de detail and what you did for the same exact thing is what you are going to do for this to do that you chain up three and decrease three at the same time as you can see And then you chain up two, put a double crochet on the very first double crochet for these three double crochets. You chain up two and put your last double crochet there, just like this. You chain up two again and decrease like how we just did. You chain up three and do your shell design. Now it's time for your uh, 10 double crochet. So chain two and do your total of 10. We are now meeting your shell design. To do that, you chain up 
two and put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets and now meeting your leave which is about to end and to do that you chain up three and do your decrease you chain up two and do your one double crochet on the very first double crochet for three double crochets on top of the one double crochet and then you chain two and do your double crochet here you chain two once again and do your decrease like how I taught you chain up three and do your last shell and then do your final double crochet on top of the last double crochet so this is how basically rule four works and then you are going to understand why we did this for the middle portion because you are going to basically end this leaf and spring out a new leaf which you need for this design so now for rule five what you are going to do is to chain up three as usual turn over your work and do your short design inside by putting two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space so now as i told you this leaf has ended and we are now springing out a new leaf so what you are going to do basically is to chain up a total of three so one two and three and then we are going to skip this whole procedure and put a double crochet three double crochets on top of this very first double crochet which i told you you are springing out two new leaves from this design because this one is basically going to end so let me just put my total of three so this is what is going to happen for this design so next you are going to chain up two and then with this double crochet we are also going to put a total of three double crochets so like this so you now understand why we did this for row four we are springing out a new leaf here basically so the next row you are going to chain up three again and skip this whole procedure and do your shell design by putting a total of two double crochets chain two and a total of two in the same exact space so now you are meeting your design here, your 10 double crochets. I told you it remains the same. But to do that, you chain up one, two, and then do your total of 10 double crochets. So now you are going to repeat the same exact thing for this side. I don't want my videos to be long. But as I said, you can still replay and learn how I did this and apply it for the middle and the side as well so when you get here you do your short design when you get here you skip you chain up three skip and do your three double crochets you chain up two you do your three double crochets you chain up three skip this whole procedure and do your shell design like how we just did so i'll meet you at the at the end of row five so now guys i ended row five as i told you i did the same repetition that i demonstrated here over here and over here too and you know the ten double crochets um, keeps dominant and then the short design is also always dominant so basically the differences only occurs here so now row six actually is um, equivalent to row two from the beginning so this is row three sorry this is row one and this is row two so what you're about to do for this row is a equivalent to row two and that's basically how the repetition works for this whole section the only thing that happens is that this leaves end and then some spring in between so you just branch and then it spreads in between and the ones you are creating and that's basically how this pattern works i love it so to begin row six which is equivalent to row two you chain up three turn over your work your short design still remains the same by putting a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space you are going to increase this design and then you are going to put a double crochet in between like how we did for row two in order to spring out a new design as time goes by so you are going to chain up three as usual and then put a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet how did i miss this so two double crochets 
in the very first double crochet and then you put a double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets in the final one so what you are doing is that you are increasing your leave and then at the same time make sure you keep the double crochet in the middle like how we did for row two to spring out a new leaf as time goes by that's the same leaf you are benefiting now and that's how this design works so the next is so next you just chain one and put a double crochet in between just like that and then you chain up one again and then put a total of two double crochets and then one double crochet in the next and then two double crochets in the last one so that's how basically it's going to look and you just chain up three and do your show design into looking nice so as you can see this double crochet line on its own um row seven is going to be equivalent to row three in which we are going to increase and then later the following row is when we leave this double crochet and then we spread and then basically this one too keeps ending so i'm going to do a couple of uh, demonstrations for you and i don't want you guys to get confused here because it can it's really easy but don't take notice you will not know the similarities and how to improvise in all the sections so next you chain up two and then this is where your normal 10 double crochets are aligned so this is how it's looking like so far and then next you chain up two do your regular shell design inside by putting two double crochets chain two two double crochets and now you are meeting the new leaf designs just like this you increase and then make sure you put a double crochet in between to sprung out a new leaf so to do that you chain up three and then you put a total of two double crochets in the very first double crochet put a double crochet in between and then a total of two in the last you chain up two sorry did i say chain up two you chain up one instead put a double crochet in between you chain up one and then put two double crochets in the very first double crochet a double crochet in the following and then um, two double crochets in the very last double crochet and this is how it's going to look so we are basically repeating what we did here for this section as well and then everything remains the same but i'll meet you at the end of the row and i'll show you what to do next. for row seven what you are going to do is to chain up three to begin turn over your work and create the same shell design in the very first shell now you are approaching the very first leaf design which we are going to decrease and then we are going to for the middle design which we did the double crochet line on its own that's where we are going to increase so to do that you chain up three and then to decrease you yarn over insert your hook into the very first space you pull through you have three on the hook you yarn over you pull through only two loops you yarn over again you insert your hook into the space you pull the yarn you have four on the hook you pull you yarn over you pull through only two loops you yarn over you pull through last three loops so now that's how to decrease um for the very first two stitches you realize that the two stitches now becomes one like how we did for the third row so row seven is basically row three so now you put a double crochet in the middle and then you do your double crochet decrease for the last two stitches as well like how i just demonstrated so you realize that row seven is equivalent to row three and that's basically how it works so this section is what you are repeating here and the next section is what you are going to repeat in the next and that's how it works simultaneously if you are already experienced at this stitch you can figure your way around the stitch because it's an easy pattern so next you chain up to one two and then this is where you put your total of three double crochets in the same exact space so put it on top and then you chain up two so chain up two again and that's where you are this is the next leaf where you do your decrease and that's how basically this pattern works so for the next row you chain up three and you do your shell for the next design you chain up three and do your shell design in the shell 
and this is where you maintain your regular 10 double crochets by chaining up two so make sure you chain up two and do your total of 10 of um, 10 double crochets so you are now meeting this show design you are going to do the same exact repetition as you did here and then you chain up three and do the same decreasing of the leaf design here and then you increase the double crochet line on its own by putting a total of three double crochet you do your next decrease for this leaf design and you do your regular thing all the way to the end of the row and make sure you always end with your double crochet so i'll meet you at the end of row seven um if you have any issues you just replay to just watch what you just did because you are basically going to do the same here and here too so i basically ended row seven um i just did the same repetition i showed you here you decrease the leave and increase the one in the middle so for row eight is the same exact thing as row four from the beginning of the row so basically we are just doing repetition till the end of the row that's how this pattern work but i don't want to get you guys confused um i'll be specifying each row so you know when to repeat for the next session so the next session is row eight and it's the same as row four and row three was the same as row seven so this is let me show you exactly where row four is so one two three four so this is row four this is the exact um section the row four section this is where we do a double crochet chain to skip the middle and the double crochet when it comes to the leaf that's it's on that's on its own and that's how it works for all the section except that the this um, short design remains the same and then the double crochet the 10 double crochets always remain the same and that's how it runs across to begin row eight you are going to chain up three as usual so one two three turn over your work put a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space so after doing that you are now going to decrease this leaf which says at the last section so basically this is the exact repetition where which is row four that's the same thing we are doing here so to do that you chain up one two three and then you decrease three at the same time as i demonstrated to you so to do that you yarn over insert your hook into the space pull through you have three on the hook pull through only two yarn over insert your hook into the next space pull through you have only four on the hook pull through two you have three now yarn over insert your hook into the next space pull through you have five on the hook pull through two you have four pull through all four loops and that's how that's the same thing i taught you from row four and that's basically how you are doing it so after that you chain up two and do your double crochet on its own for the three consecutive double crochet as i told you you chain up three sorry two and skip the middle and put a double crochet in the last like how we are doing we did for row four so basically that's the same thing you are going to do all around you decrease this leaf and you make sure whenever you get to the shell you put the shell inside so remember to chain up your three and do your decrease three stitches to one decrease and then you chain up three and then do your shell design and then you meet your 10 double crochets but first chain up two and put your 10 double crochets so now you are basically going to repeat the same exact thing for the middle and then the side as well so i'll meet you at row nine so i ended row eight with the same repetition i explained to you and as i told you row eight is the same as row four so row nine basically is the same as row five and so i'm going to give you a demonstration of how row nine is but basically if you get this pattern you just go ahead and replay to know what exactly to do so for row nine you chain up three as usual put a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space now we are meeting this leaf as i told you this was the last section of decrease so we are going to end it here and then focus on springing out this new design so to do that you chain up one two three you skip this whole space and put a total of three double crochets and up two
and then you put your total of three double crochets here after that you chain up one two three and then do your shell design after that you chain up your two and then this is where you meet your ten double crochets To repeat the same exact thing as I showed you here, as I told you, row nine is the same as row five, and then I'll meet you as row ten where I'm going to explain a few things and then I'll leave you to do the rest of the rows on your own because this is basically repetition. So we are finally done with row nine, same exact repetition, and now row ten is going to be equivalent to row six or row two for this section. So you realize that this is how row two. S and then this is how row 6 actually is so with this section you increase the 3 into 5 and then you now spring out a new leaf by always putting the double crochet in between which will spread out later in the design and basically I will just make sure I put a chart on the screen to um, explain to you which rules are similar so that when you are doing your repetition you don't get off the track but I don't want my video to be extremely long but I want you guys to understand and then keep on repeating the sections um, as I demonstrate to you so now let me demonstrate row 10 is going to be my last demonstrative row and then I'll teach you which rows are similar so that you can go ahead with your repetition to how long you want your dress pattern to be starting from the waist except that I'll teach you where to decrease a little to get the tight effects for the tie area and then basically i'll teach you what to do for the back and then we will reattach to work the upper part so to begin row 10 you just chain up one two three turn over your work do your short design here as usual meeting your new leaves which have already sprung out as usual you chain up three and then you increase the side by putting two double crochets And then one double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets in the exact same space for the last section so now never forget to put your double crochet addition or else you have to go back and add it this is very essential that's the same repetition we did for row uh, six so you realize that row six you had a total of five here and then you had a double crochet here which sprang out later and became a leaf on its own and then that's the same thing we did for row two that's the very first section row two you realize that when we did five there was a double crochet it increases to three and then you start springing out the leaf on its own so just make sure you are always on track so chain one and then put your double crochet here and then chain one again and then you can now increase by putting two double crochets in the first the same exact space put a double crochet on its own and in the last space put a total of two double crochets so that's what you have and now you are basically getting to the show design as usual you chain up three and put your total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets now you are meeting the one which is always dominant which is a ten double crochets so you chain up two and double crochet on top of the first and then follow swiftly with your double crochet so basically you are going to repeat your shell design and then nothing else changes from this section you just make sure that you increase your leaf and then um, in, in between you put your double crochets so this is where you increase your leaf and then um, after you increase to five you know what to do you increase you you make sure you put a standalone double crochet in the middle that's what occurs for this particular row 10 and yeah that's what you also do for the middle and the side as well so i'll fast forward because this is basically repetition and i don't want the video to be extremely long and i'll just want you to observe and i'll leave a chat right now for you to get a bit a better understanding of this So basically done with the repetition of row 10 making sure i increase here and put my double crochet here so the next row is going to be row 11 which happens to be the same 
as this section row 7 so row 11 is going to be the same as row 7 where you increase the middle to 3 so you realize that the double crochet here is going to be the same as the increase over here which will spring out as a new leaf with we from the very beginning of the new leaf here. This is going to be repetition whenever you leave and you just make sure that when you get to the second section of the leaf, you put a double crochet in the middle so that you can spring out a new leaf, which we did here in row 10. So that's how it basically works. I recommend that you replay to get the sections right. So guys, this is how my project is looking after a few more repetitions of rows. I just want to demonstrate a little thing to you all so that you don't get confused. Only instance is when you increase to five and then you put a double crochet in between. And please take notes because I usually make a mistake here. When you are increasing the leaf, as time goes by and you are increasing the leaf design, you realize that um, when you get to the very last section where you finally decrease to one for the two-sided leaves, you always make sure that you put a double crochet, chain three double crochet at the last. Sometimes you can get confused and end up increasing this one to five. So that's the only confusion in this pattern that I want you guys to take notice as you are going by um, with this leaf stitch. Make sure that you always put double crochet, chain three, chain two, double crochet. So that is when you increase the side and side to get the other leaves springing out. And that's how you get um, the design going as time goes by. You just go ahead repeating. The only instance is that when you get to the middle, you just do double crochet chain uh, two double crochet instead of increasing it to five which is normal for the side and side designs please don't make a mistake when you are springing the new leaf from the middle and so i want to show you guys how long my front panel is looking so far so actually my front panel measures exactly 15 inch and you can extend the coverage to up to 18 inch if you are from size small to medium or longer depending on how much coverage you want the coverage starts from the belly button um, downwards a little below the belly button downwards so it's now for me to start the back panel and with the back panel you will not be doing any leaf detail actually you will just go ahead and uh, mix several regular rows till you are satisfied so first of all you make a slip knot and chain enough to cover your back panel so however you measure for your waist you are going to make the number of chains just like that i made a total of 64 chains instead of 70 like i did because i want my waist a little bit bunched up and i want um it to fit a little bit so i actually applied the decreasing technique here already for the number of chains i make for the back panel but it's optional you can make the same number of chains and that's a little technique i'm using so that when i join it gets a little bit bunched up but you can still increase for the side of the um dress you can increase for the side as time goes by to get a curvy nature but i think the front panel is already bigger for um your hip coverage so after that i'm going to chain up an additional three move to the fourth space and put a double crochet there so i'm going to basically double crochet all the way down so i'm done with my full row of double crochets next row you chain up three turn over your work just like this and double crochet into the next stitch so you are going to put a double crochet in all the stitches till you get to the end of the row and that's how basically you are going to do um, for the rest of the rows. You just chain three and double crochet till you get to your length, however length or, or number of inch you measured for a little below your belly button to your knee level, which is optional because it depends on how long you want your dress. So I'll meet you when I'm done with the back panel and then I'll show you how to attach the front panel and the back panel and then we begin the from the belly button to the upper aspect so guys this is the number of rows i ended up making for my back portion 
um, I actually made enough rows to fit the front portion and currently I maintain the same uh, inch that I measured which was 15 inch for my front portion so what I'm going to do now is to make sure that the wrong sides are facing and then I single crochet to join both sides so when the right sides are facing actually you just slip stitch to join and single crochet along the edges and you are going to apply the same technique at the other side as well so just swiftly put a single crochet in each space to get to the end of the work so guys i'm basically done with joining both sides and i've turned it I've upside down so you see that the seam which i single crocheted hides inside and basically this part is going to be the upper part we'll be adding some extra detail for the down part which we'll reattach and work later something like a raffle effect to make the dress look extraordinary so what i'm going to do is to place my stitch markers at the sides where i'm going to um, decrease so the size i'm going to decrease includes when you take the chain three the middle of the chain three from the sides the two leaves this is where i'm going to start the attachment and then i'm going to end at the middle of the um, chain three separating the shell here and then the leaf design so i'm going to place my stitch marker here too and that's how i'm going to work my halter design crochet rows until we maintain the nice effect you see in the middle so to do that what i'm going to do is to make a basic slip knot so i just wrap it around the hook and pull through once and pull through two times and now i pull the tail so now i'm going to attach at the white stitch marker so now we are going to work rows of double crochets so you just chain up three and double crochet in the very first chain and then put a double crochet in all the chain spaces so just target the chain spaces and forget the designs there because basically we need to get this effect till we get to the middle the middle remains the same however the from the side panel to this panel remains the same so i'm going to place my stitch marker as where exactly we are going to start up the middle design so that you don't get confused so let me just put my stitch marker here this is where we maintain the middle design we need for this um, project maintain your regular double crochets in all the spaces so you get to where i just place the white stitch marker so this is exactly where the white stitch marker is so i'm just going to put my last double crochet there so now what you're going to do is to chain up two and then put a double crochet on top of the shell put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets on top of that shell now chain up three we are meeting this new leaf design what you are basically going to do is to just put a total of three double crochets in the same exact space because this leaf has ended and we are now building up a new leaf which starts with a total of three if you check the beginning of the design you realize that we started with a total of three double crochets and that's why we are putting three double crochets here after that you chain up three again and this is total of three double crochets on top of the next leaf now moving on you chain up three again put a shell design in on top of that shell design by putting a total of two double crochets chain to two double crochets in the same exact space so now you chain up two and continue with your regular double crochets till you get to the stitch marker 
which is the green stitch marker so just double crochet till you get to the green stitch marker so we are now at the green stitch marker you just place your double crochet there so now the next row is going to be a regular row maintaining the middle detail still intact so the third row is going to be the row where we decrease for the side and side to get the halter effect we need for this project so what you are going to do next is to chain up three to begin the next row as usual turn over your work and then put a double crochet in the next so put a double crochet across the double crochet till you meet where the design is so i'll meet you exactly here so now we are at the end of the ro several rows of double crochet we made the next thing is to continue your middle detail design as usual chain up your two put a total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets in the same exact space then you are now meeting the middle leaf design what you are going to do the two middle leaf design what you are going to do is to chain up three increase this to five by putting a total of two double crochets in the first one double crochet in the middle and then two double crochets in the last now instead of chaining three and moving to the next what you are going to do is to chain up one put a double crochet in the middle of the three chains you made from the previous row Chain up one again and put a total of two double crochets in the first um, three double crochet and then put a double crochet in the middle put a total of two in the last so this is what is going to serve as a leaf splitting um, for the new leaves that will be coming on in this um, middle detail so next chain up your three and do your shell design so now chain up two and continue with your regular double crochet till you get to the end of the row so i place a double crochet across till i got to the end so the next row is going to be row three and the very first row of decrease um for the halter design so to do that you chain up three as usual turn over your work now to do quiz you yarn over insert your hook into the next space you pull through when you have three on the hook you pull through two you yarn over insert your hook into the following space you pull through when you have four on the hook you pull through two when you have three on the hook you pull through three so that's how to decrease and then you are going to double crochet after the decrease you are going to put regular double crochets to get to the middle detail where i normally place my stitch marker so i'll meet you at where the white stitch marker is which is exactly here and so we are at where the white stitch marker is and it's time for you to do the middle detail so to do that you chain up to put your total of two double crochets chain two two double crochets and after that you are going to decrease your leave since i told you that the highest increase of leave is going to be up to five stitches so you chain up three and then you decrease Put a regular double crochet here and then do the same double crochet decrease for the last two so you have three now here and then you chain two put a total of three double crochets on top of the one standalone double crochet from the previous row chain up two once again do your double crochet decrease in the first two stitches double crochet in the middle and then your double crochet decrease in the last two stitches so now you chain up your three and then do your shell design in this space you chain up two and do your regular double crochet to get to the end of the row so you stop at the last but two stitch where we are going to apply the same decreasing technique i taught you we are now at the last but two stitches all you have to do is to yarn over insert into the next space pull through when you have two on your hook, pull through only two. When you have three on your hook, pull through only two. Yarn over, insert your hook into the last space, pull through. When you have four on the hook, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we have decreased for both sides. The next row is also going to be a row of decrease. So after chaining up three, you yarn over, insert your hook, perform your double crochet decrease. 
and then double crochet regularly all the way down middle detail when you get here you just chain up two as usual do your short design and after that you chain up three and do your final decrease for this lift design so you just yarn over insert your hook pull through when you have three pull through two yarn over insert your hook pull through when you have four pull through two yarn over insert your hook pull through when you have five pull through two you have four and then you pull through all four loops you chain up two and then what you are going to do is to put a double crochet on top just one double crochet on the first you chain up two skip the middle and put a double crochet here you chain up two and then perform your double crochet decrease like how we did for this leaf and then you chain up three and continue with your leaf design sorry your shell design you chain up two and continue with your double crochet all till you get to the end of the last but two stitches where you are going to decrease so with the last but two stitches you just do a double crochet decrease just like this and then you turn over your work as usual you begin with a chain three so one two three this time there's going to be a variation you are going to do a double crochet decrease in the last bar two for this section as well where i've just placed my white stitch marker so the last bar two before you get to the middle design and then you also do the same double crochet decrease over here too so you do a double crochet decrease over here the beginning of this section as well so the next row is going to basically be a regular row you will not do a double crochet decrease here in the first so after chaining three just double crochet regularly and double crochet all the way till you get the white stitch marker this is where the last but two stitch is so i'm just going to remove my stitch marker yarn over insert my hook into the space pull through when i have three on the hook pull through to yarn over insert my hook into the space pull through when i have four on the hook pull through two and then pull through final three so I just made a decrease here and I'm just going to chain up two and do my shell design for the middle. And after that, you are going to chain up three, skip this whole finished leaf and then put a total of three double crochets on top of this. Chain up two and put a total of three double crochets on top of this standalone double crochet. Chain up three, skip this whole, Skip this whole procedure and do your shell design inside here by putting a total of two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Now you are meeting this side. What you are going to do is to chain up two and yarn over, insert your hook into the space, pull through. When you have three on the hook, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook into the space, pull through. When you have four on the hook, pull through two, pull through final three. So now you can release your stitch marker and do your regular double crochet till you get to the end of the row. So this next row is going to be a row, a regular row with no increase, in, with no decrease, sorry. So you just chain up three and double crochet in the next space and in all the stitches till you get to here. And I'll show you what to do for the middle aspect, but it's basically repetition. So just chain up two and do your shell design. And then you chain up three, increase this leaf to five. Chain up one, double crochet in the middle. Chain up one, increase this leaf to five. So this is going to be a new leaf which will spring up in the middle like how we did for here. So after that you chain up three and then you do your shell design. And then you chain up two and do your double crochet till you get to the end of the row. The next row is going to be a row of decrease. To decrease, you know what to do. Chain up three and do your double crochet decrease like how I taught you. And then double crochet all the way down. Yeah, and then we do the usual thing for middle design. As usual, you chain up your three, do your shell design. You chain up your two, do your shell design in the shell. And then you chain up three decrease the five to three you know what to do you decrease the first two stitches maintain the middle double crochet and then decrease the last two stitches 
and then you chain up two put a total of three double crochets on the standalone double crochet chain up two again and then do a double crochet decrease in the first two maintain your regular double crochet and then a double crochet decrease in the last two okay and then you chain up three and do your shell design chain up two and do your double crochet to get to the end of the row and make sure you do your double crochet decrease in the last back two so now i ended and for the next five stitches you are going to do a decrease and what you realize is that you decrease one stitch at each side so i'll meet you when i'm done with my next five stitches and i'll show you what to do the middle design continues to be the same except that when you get here you put a double crochet chain to double crochet like how we have been doing previously and then uh, you make sure that you spring out a new leaf by putting three double crochets three double crochets and then the new leaf develops and then you create one when you get to the second section of the leaf that you are developing so yes that's how basically it's going to be for the middle design so i'm done with my total um five rows of decreasing and you can see that the new leaf is springing up and this leaf is about to end for the middle aspect and you can see that this place is slanting as well so the next three rows i'm going to do is going to contain regular rows and then that's the rows that follow the rest of the rows contains decreases till you get to your neckline or you get to the measurements that you want for your neckline i hope it's understandable so let me do my regular rows not forgetting the middle design it's um, if you have your technique in mind and you have been watching this you should figure your way out so chain three turn over your work and do your double crochet regular double crochet so you get to the middle design and then you do what you are supposed to do and then you end as well for this section and as i said you are going to do a total of three rows for regular rules for this section and then the rest of the rules that follow the regular three rules is contains only rules of decrease so now after repeating three regular rules this is how it's looking so far and this is when the the following rules that follows this three regular rules remains the same as in you decrease in every last stage so you maintain your decreasing in every last uh, stitch and then you maintain your regular design for the middle aspect as i've been teaching you so far so guys you are almost closing up the design i decreased to get this effect and as you can see it's left with only three stitches standing you can decide to make your straps from here which will serve as a crisscross design all through your back portion for the topper part of the dress or you can decrease a little more to get the snake but i think this is okay for you so now make sure you make straps long enough to cover your back area and when you are done make sure you single crochet or slip stitch back to make it more thicker there will be much more beginner friendly videos in the description after single crocheting along the straps you are going to single crochet along the edges all around and then single crochet at the back two and then single crochet all around to get to this edge and then you create the straps and single crochet to make it thicker and also single crochet along the edges so just keep on single crocheting to clean up the edges so that the edges looks a little neat that's the effect we need for this side of the upper design and then create the straps and make it thicker by single crocheting as well for the other side now it's time for us to make the ruffles and for my ruffles i'll be using the half double crochet for the design i want so to begin the ruffles i'm going to make a basic slip knot and attach to wherever i want to start it doesn't really matter but i want to attach to the very side of the dress so i'll just slip stitch to join and then i'll chain up two now i'll put my very first half double crochet in the same exact stitch so what you are going to do now is to put three half double crochets in the same exact stitch so that you get a ruffle effect so this chain two counts as a stitch 
and I've already made a half double crochet in that seam stitch so I'm going to add another half double crochet in the seam stitch making a total of three so the next is going to be the chain space and just maneuver your way to put a total of three half double crochets in the same exact space so you are going to do this in each space you find so you get to the end of the row so now what you're going to do is to put three half double crochets in each spaces and the beauty is that um it begins to get this raffle effect and the rest of the rows however will be regular rows with no increases like how we did there will be more tutorials in the description that i use raffles and i would like you to check them out so when you are basically done with three half double crochets in each space you basically do a slip stitch to join and then you chain up to to begin the next row and as i told you you do regular half double crochets no increases to get to the end of the row and you do several rows till you are satisfied with the length of the ruffles i didn't want mine too um long i made it simple so it depends on what you want so i'll meet you when i'm done with the project basically we are almost done so this is how the final project came out i love the details i hope you love this too if you want to see more from me please subscribe and stay here and please give this video a thumbs up it helps grow in so many ways so i'll meet you in the next tutorial Bye bye